Algebra 1, number 2.5d, we're still talking about multiplication of rational numbers, and now we're going to discuss the commutative and associative properties for rational numbers when we multiply. And the rules for the commutative and associative properties of multiplication apply to rational numbers too. With the commutative property, we can do 3 times 5, and it's going to equal 5 times 3. We can switch the order and get the same product. And remember, the associative property says we can group differently and get the same product. We can multiply these two together and then to the 2, or we can multiply the 2 and the 3 together and then the 5, and it's going to have the same product. And we can do this with rational numbers. We can change the order in grouping of positive and negative numbers when we multiply and get the same product. So with the commutative property, we've got negative 3 times a positive 8. And it's going to equal a negative 24 because we have unlike signs. And the same thing, if we multiply the positive 8 times the negative 3, we're going to get a negative 24 because they're unlike signs. And it doesn't matter which order we multiply them in. The 3 can be first or the 3 could be second. It's still going to equal a negative 24. With the associative property, if we have three different numbers, three different rational numbers, negative 2, positive 3, negative 5. We can multiply the negative 2 to the positive 3 and get a negative 6, then multiply it to the negative 5, and they have like signs, so it's going to be 6 times 5 equals 30 with a positive, because they're like signs. They're both negative. We can also multiply the th positive 3 to the negative 5 first and get a negative 15, and then multiply it by the negative 2, they have like signs, so that's going to be a positive 30. It didn't matter, so the associative property works. And if we've got four rational numbers like this, and we've got some fractions, we can move the fractions together and move the whole numbers together like this and multiply the fractions together. We can get 2 6, which simplifies to 1 3rd. See, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6. 2, 6. It simplifies to 1 third. We can multiply the positive 8 and the negative 6 and get a negative 48 because they have unlike signs. It's negative. When we multiply these, we get 1 times 48 is 48 over 3 times 1 is 3. And because they're unlike, it's negative. We simplify it. 3 goes into 48 16 times. We've got a negative 16. So we put the fractions together and then these numbers together and got a negative 16. We could also just multiply the negative half by the 8 and get a negative 8 halves because they're unlike signs. It's negative. That's going to be a negative 4. We can multiply the negative 2 thirds to the negative 6 and we're going to get a positive 12 over 3 because they're both negative signs so it makes a positive. See? That 12 over 3 becomes a 4. Sorry about the focus there. And when we multiply the negative 4 to the positive 4, they're unlike signs, so we get a negative 16. So it didn't matter the grouping or the order. It didn't affect the product. See? So the commutative and associative properties work with rational numbers. See that? In our next video, number 2.5e, we're going to talk about the symbols for sets and subsets of rational numbers. Okay? I'll see you there. Bye.